Hello, boys and girls. Welcome. Guess what time it is? It's Eureka time. Today we are December 3rd, 2020, and our goal is to get a 90% or higher on our end of module. Today we're going to be doing lesson 28, and our objective for today says I can solve addition problems using 10 as a unit and write two step solutions. So very simple, we're gonna review the making 10 strategy and then we're gonna write our solution as 10s and 1s. Well, what do we need to know? Well, we need to know what decompose means, which is break apart. We also need to know what the make 10 strategy is, which we've worked with before. We also need to know what triangle parts are, which are the parts that we have left over and what a 10 plus related fact is, which is just an addition fact that starts with 10 and your other leftover part, which we're gonna be going over today. How are we going to be successful? Well, one, we're gonna decompose to make 10. Two, we're gonna circle and add the parts and make 10. Step three, we're gonna draw and identify our triangle parts. And then step four, we're just going to write the 10 plus related fact in, at the end. And that's what we will be doing today. Are you ready? Make sure you have your whiteboard or a piece of paper to practice the problems. First, we start by parking our marker and our pencil so that we can listen. Here we have 8 plus 4. First, we're listening. Ms. Gomez will model the first problem and then you can practice with me. So let me get my pen. Remember our key points. First, we're going to decompose to make 10. Well, 8 is closer to 10. So we're going to make 10 with, them, with 8. That means that I'm going to decompose 4. I'm going to break it apart. How many does 8 need to make 10? Get ready. Yes, two. And two plus what other part make four? Get ready. Yes, two. So we decompose four into two and two. Now we circle to make and add the parts to make 10. So we're going to circle eight and two. And I'm going to write that number sentence down so we can show how we made 10. We added 8 plus 2 equals 10. And so here we have 10. And now we remember we have to draw and identify our triangle parts. Well, we're going to, our triangle parts, which are our leftover parts, are 10 and 2. So I'm making a triangle over 10 and 2. And then we write the 10 plus related fact. Remember, well, those are just our triangle parts when we put them together. So we write 10 plus 2 equals, what is 10 plus 2 equal? Get ready. Yes, 12. So 8 plus 4 equals, get ready, yes, 12. And I'm going to box my answer. Now let me ask you a question. Look at our solution, 12. How many tens does 12 have? Get ready. Yes, 1 ten. Remember to answer with the unit. How many ones does 12 have? Get ready. Yes, two ones. So now, pay close attention. We're listening. These are the two number sentences that Ms. Gomez wrote, right? So look at these number sentences in red and think about how it explains and how it shows the way that we made one ten and two ones when adding eight plus four. So let's think about it. These number sentences show how we made 110 because here we have the first one, which shows that we had eight, and when we added two more, it made 110, one group of 10. 
Then we just added 10 with our two leftover ones to make 12. So today we're gonna, we're gonna write two number sentences each time we solve a problem like this. So we can see, so we can see how we made one 10 first and then add the ones. So just like I solved the problem is how we're going to be solving the problem today. Are you ready to practice? Let's start. Here's our first problem. We're gonna do it together. 8 plus 5. Go ahead and write 8 plus 5. Ready? Okay, first we have to decompose to make 10. And we're going to make 10 with 8 because it's closer to 10. So that means we're going to break apart 5. Everybody draw your little lines to show how we're breaking apart 5. 8 needs how many more to make 10? Get ready. Yes, two, so let's write two. I write, you write. Now, two need, and what other part make five? Get ready. Yes, three. Two and three make five. Make sure you have this. Now, let's circle the parts that make 10. So we're gonna circle eight, and two, and I have one step. Remember, we're gonna show how we make 10. So let's go ahead and write eight plus two equals 10. Make sure you have this. Go ahead and pause the video if you need more time. Now, don't forget to write 10 here because then we have to draw and identify our leftover parts. What are our left? Our leftover parts, get ready. Yes, 10 and three. And remember, we have to show our, we have to write our 10 plus related facts. So let's go ahead and write 10 plus three. What is 10 plus three equal? Get ready. Yes. 13. So then we just write our solution and we box our answer. Go ahead and park your markers in your pencil because I have a question to ask you. We're listening. How many tens does 13 have? Get ready. Yes, one ten. How many ones? Does 13 half? Get ready. Yes, three ones. Awesome job. See how you did it? Okay, go ahead and erase your whiteboard or find the next blank space on your paper. Here we have another one, eight plus six. Go ahead and pause the video and work it out. Remember to write your two-step solution. Write your number sentence of how you made 10 and then write your 10 plus related fact. Press play to check your work. You should have already checked your work. I mean, sorry, you should have not checked your work. You should have already found your solution. So if you're missing anything as I go along, make sure you write it down. Ready? So you had eight plus six, and we were you were supposed to make 10 with eight because it's closer to 10. And eight means how many more to make 10? Get ready. Yes, two more. And two plus what other part makes six? Get ready. Yes, four. If you didn't have or you made a mistake, you can go ahead and fix it. Now, we circle the parts that made 10. And remember how we're showing how we made 10? So you were supposed to write A plus two equals 10. If you didn't write it, go ahead and write it. Don't forget to include 10 over here. And then you were supposed to put a triangle on your left, draw a triangle on your leftover parts. Sorry about my messy triangles. And your leftover parts are 10 and four. 
And you were supposed to also write your 10 plus related fact. And that is just putting your triangles together. So 10 plus 4. What is 10 plus 4 equal, boys and girls? Get ready. Yes, 14. So you were supposed to write your solution and box your answer. Make sure you have all of this work in order to show how you made 10. Now, pencils and markers part in three, two, one. Tell me, look at your solution, it's 14. How many 10s in 14? Get ready. Yes, one 10. How many ones in 14? Get ready. Yes, four ones. Way to go. Let's practice some more. Here we have nine plus six. Ready? Go ahead and pause the video and press play to check your work. At this point, you should have already found your solution. Now let's make sure that you didn't miss any steps. Here we go. So this time we're going to make 10 with 9 because it's closer to 10. But 9 needs how many more to make 10? Get ready. Yes, it only needs one more. But 1 and what other part makes 6? Get ready. Yes, 5. 1 and 5 make 6. Then you were supposed to circle the parts that make 10 and write them down to show how you made 10. 9 plus 1 equals 10. We write 10 over here. And then you were supposed to draw a triangle on your leftover parts, which are 10 and 5. Then you were also supposed to write your 10 plus related fact. So that just means that you add your triangles together. So you should have 10 plus 5. What is 10 plus 5 equal? Get ready. Yes, 15. And you were supposed to write your solution. Box our answer. Now, park your markers and your pencils in three, two, one. Eyes on me. Well, eyes on the screen, not on me. <laughs> Ready? So 15. How many tens does 15 have? Get ready. Yes, one ten. How many ones does 15 have? Get ready. Yes, five ones. Ready? You are doing great, I am sure. Let's practice some more. Here you have seven plus five. Hmm. Go ahead and write it down and sh go ahead and show your work. Press pause, press play to check your work. Now let's check. Well, here I'm gonna make 10 with seven because seven is closer to 10. So, but seven needs how many more to make 10? Get ready. Yes, it needs three more. And three and what other part make five? Get ready. Yes, two. So three and two make five. But then we circle the parts that make 10, which are seven and three. And we're supposed to write them down. Seven plus three equal 10. Then you were supposed to put a, draw a triangle on your leftover parts, which are 10 and 2. 
And we are also supposed to make an addition sentence or write your 10 plus related fact. 10 plus 2. What is 10 plus 2? Get ready. Yes, 12. So 12 is our solution. Markers and pencils parked in 3, 2, 1. How many tens? Yes, how many tens in 12? Get ready. Yes, one ten. How many ones in 12? Get ready. Yes, two ones. Awesome job, boys and girls. Last one. Ready? Go ahead and work this, solve this problem out. Show your two-step solution and then press play to check your work. Here we have seven plus nine. Let's check your work. Here, even though nine is our second addend, we're gonna make 10 with nine because it is the closest to 10. And we know that nine needs how many more to make 10? Get ready. Yes, one, one more. And one, and what other part makes seven? Get ready. Yes, six, six and one make seven. Then we circle the parts that made 10. We write a 10, but then we also write the addition sentence, nine plus one, to show how we made 10, equals 10. Then you were supposed to draw a triangle on your leftover parts. 10 and 6. And then you write your 10 plus related fact, which is 10 plus 6 equals 16. So 16 was our solution. Markers and pencils should be parked at this point in 3, 2, 1. Let me ask you. How many tens in 16? Get ready. Yes, one ten. How many ones in 16? Get ready. Yes, six ones. Awesome job, boys and girls. Thank you for practicing and following along. Ready? Now it's time to get your problem set out. Go ahead and take your problem set out from your learn book to lesson 28. Go ahead and write your name, today's date, and our goal. Let me move this so you can see the goal, which is 90 or higher on end of module. Go ahead and press pause and press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, I am going to do the first problem with you as an example. Let's read our instructions. It says solve the problems. Show your solution in two steps, just like we did when we were practicing. Step one, write one number sentence to make 10. And step two, write one number sentence to add to 10. Just like we were doing. So we have nine plus five equals. Well, if we use the make 10 strategy, we're gonna decompose five to make 10 with nine. So go ahead and write down the two lines to show we're decomposing five. And nine means how many more to make 10? Get ready. Yes, one more. And one, and what other part make five? Get ready. Yes, four. So, now, we circle the parts and make 10, which were nine and one, and we draw, we write a 10 on the side. But remember, step one was to write one number sentence to make 10. So here, we're gonna write how we make 10, which is by adding nine plus one equals 10. And you can see it here in the problem. Now we draw triangle parts on the leftover parts, which are 10 and four. And that's our step two, to write one number sentence to add to 10. So we start with, we just write the parts, we put together the parts that are in the triangle. So 10 plus four, and what is 10 plus four, boys and girls? Get ready. 
Yes, 14. And all we do is we write our solution in these cards, just like this, our tens and our ones. And that is how we solve today's problems. Go ahead and now get ready to circle your must-do problems. Your must-do problems are problem two, problem four, and problem six. And that is it. See you in the live session.